On Friday the 13th, the governor's office filed a motion to stop the proceedings in the Ordot consent decree case. At the heart of the government's argument, allegations the attorney general's office is not working in the best interest of the people of Guam and as a result has no voice in the case. According to the government's motion, it was on August 13th, the district court reiterated its position that the attorney general's office is GovGuam's only authorized lawyer. But on that same day, the AG's office filed papers with the court, quote, revealing for the first time that it has not actually represented the government since April 2011. In that same filing, the AG's office admits that its client is the Guam Solid Waste Authority, which by court order is under control of the federal receiver. Governor's Deputy Chief of Communications, Phil Leon Guerrero. It, it really would be... Um it really isn't in the best interest of the people of Guam to continue these proceedings in district court without effective legal representation. And if it's not going to be by the attorney general's office because they say that they're representing the receiver, that the receiver is our client, then we really need to have uh, an attorney that is uh, acting within the best interests of the people of Guam and only the people of Guam. According to Leon Guerrero, this is clearly a conflict of interest and according to the motion to stay, this must be resolved immediately because without a voice in the litigation, the government maintains there's no transparency and in effect, the receiver could saddle the government with contracts potentially requiring tens of millions of dollars in additional funding. Leon Guerrero says the government is not only being left in the dark, but also could be left dealing with a shortfall. The receiver is fully intending on uh, on awarding a contract for the closure of the ORDOT dump by the end of this month or early next month and it would be irresponsible for the government to enter into a long-term agreement with a company without knowing first how much uh, the contract is going to cost and second the receiver has already admitted that they under budgeted the closure of the ORDOT dump so if we already know that we're not going to have enough money um, because the receiver says that he doesn't have enough money, um, that's bad enough. But at the same time, if we don't have enough money, uh, how can we responsibly enter into a contract if we don't know how much we're short by exactly? The Attorney General's Office, meanwhile, issued this reaction to KUAM in response to the motion to stay, quote, the Office of the Attorney General has been representing the government of Guam, including its governmental agencies, in the landfill consent decree case for more than 13 years. Since the entry of a 2012 judgment in the Lads on Landfill condemnation case, the Governor's Office has filed a motion seeking to remove the OAG from representing the government of Guam in all aspects of this case. The motion was denied by the Federal District Court. Our court filed documents will contain any further comment we have on this matter.